I'm launching a new business here in Halifax and I'm so excited to tell you about it. I started with my roommate William. Um, it's not launched as a for-profit business yet, but we are gathering momentum and we have launched a business directory called Halifax.business. That's Halifax.business. Be sure to check it out in the description down below. If you're a business in Halifax or you own a business and you want to Add it to our directory, it's absolutely free, www.halifax.business. I'm going to tell you all about it, in the meantime, I'm going to pick up some supplies. I am trying to take notes about my very busy life with pen and paper from now on, instead of storing it in my phone, and having a good pen is a big part of that. So I knew Halifax needed something, it needed more energy, it needed more hustle, it needed more exposure. I was noticing no one was making YouTube videos, so when I first started, holy, 150,000 watch minutes alone making videos about Halifax, Nova Scotia. So now it's focusing on how do we take the attention that, I've learned how to capture attention in the city, how do I take that and how do I give that to brands and businesses? So I was thinking about doing marketing here in Halifax, because I am the director of Nader Najad Media online digital marketing agency small but we have you know quite a number of clients at, at a time and we work for people we work for global television we've worked for the prime and the nephew of the former chilean president we've worked for uh i tutor group who if you know vip kid um, or any of the large teaching companies we work for them doing uh reputation management so doing some really interesting stuff with a lot of companies and I'm thinking, hey, if I can leverage that in this city and get everybody, you know, marketing for everybody, that would be excellent. But why would I just, you know, jump in and do marketing without giving more free value? So we launched a business directory called Halifax.business to, you know, capture all those leads of all the new businesses, but also to give them free exposure here in the city. So that's a big part of what we're doing, and it's been a blast so far. So these are the beginning stages, but the only problem is that I'm heading out of the city in the next three or four months. So it's trying to get that rolling, get that ball, you know, get that snowball started, and also <laughs> turning it into a viable business which right now is just a business directory so there's a lot of pushing I'm pushing with this content I'm doing so much so let's talk if you're confused about what it is honestly it's a business directory that we're trying to transfer and do marketing with that's my bus pass see so that's what we're doing. I'm excited to bring more exposure to businesses in Halifax, to people who are trying to get online, because so many businesses don't know about digital marketing and online marketing and bringing that to the city and doing it effectively, because we're the best at ranking for search results in the city is, is incredible. So I'm excited about that, and I'm excited. Uh, honestly, we're giving free audits away to businesses as well to show them how, what they can do to improve. And this has been working really well with building trust in the community and having people even ask us, like, hey, I'm interested in doing marketing with you. Um, let's set something up. So this is the beginning stages and we're just getting started. So that's our new business in Halifax. I'm gonna give you some tips for launching your own. So I'm clearly not a Halifax business expert, but in terms of marketing in this city, I am. And I understand the things that work and I've been able to recognize patterns. And I got a question on my email about, hey Nader, how do I start a business in Halifax? You've been there for a while, so I need some tips about patterns. I think the title of the email was trends, trends in Halifax. There aren't really trends. The best way to, <laughs> to win in Halifax is to disrupt the marketplace. If you look at some of the businesses that are doing really well, for example, popular ones like Vandal Donuts, who we were talking to the other day, they did something different. They brought, you know, a, a creative twist on classic donuts, um, funky fresh donuts, or f like even their email signature is like a donut typing on a computer. Like I looked at all the, you know, nuanced creative stuff that they've just pumped into their business like cookie monster donuts like just <laughs> that those sort of things fly okay deals so wasabi house um giving away free sushi complimentary sushi every single time you go there they're packed lineups out the door so you're looking at businesses in halifax i'm offering free stuff we've captured a lot of attention i'm offering free audits i'm offering um a free business listing 
break into the marketing industry because there are companies that are huge here like Burke and Burke who specialize in design and have been here since um, <laughs> before <laughs> probably before the internet like with the flyers like I don't know but like there are people who really you know step foot here and have been here for 20 or 30 years so if you want to make it in Halifax as a business you got to again disrupt the marketplace ignore the trends and do a great job so that's where I'm at this is the business that we're trying to create here. I have the global marketing uh, agency founded through Toronto, and now I'm looking at building it out in Halifax. I mean, both are pretty small. Combining marketing with my online teaching revenue and a few other, other things, I'm allowed to live comfortably, but I wanna really make it big in this city and help other people do the same. So that's where I'm at, and I'm super excited to keep pumping away with this content and keep growing the channel. So be sure to subscribe, smash that notification bell, and thank you for watching.